Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents in a Microsoft Word document. And you're looking at a table of contents right now. This is actually for the book, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. You can see it lists the chapters, some of the uh, subheadings, and even smaller headings than that, and it shows the page number that they appear on. And this is very helpful for readers because when they open up a book, maybe they just want to go to a certain section and this will help them get there. So this is how you make a table of contents. Go to your Microsoft Word document and open it up. Now, one of the key things for making an automatic table of contents in Microsoft Word is the headings and subheadings and the chapter titles and that sort of thing, it has to be marked up using the styles. And maybe you don't pay attention to styles, you just bold stuff. Well, for an ta automatic table of contents, you need to be using the styles, and that's how Microsoft Word figures out what to make, you know, put at the top of the chapter and assign uh, page numbers. So right now you can see this is a, this is a draft document, so I haven't given it a, the chapter a number, but this chapter is called A New Media World, and you can see up here in, on the home ribbon, over here it says Heading 1. I could also call it heading two, but because this is a chapter, I want to use the top level heading. And then if you go down, you'll see that I have some subheadings too. So to, that's basically just highlighted the subheading, and then I clicked heading two. And as I go through, what I'll need to do is change all of these simple subheadings where I just bolded it. This is just normal text bolded. And then all I need to do is highlight it and then go to heading two and change it like that. And that will prepare the Microsoft Word to know what needs to be put into the table of contents when you create it. So go through and do that. And once you're done, basically you go to the top of the document. Most people put the table of contents, also known as the TOC, at the top of the document. Just put your cursor there and then go to the references ribbon. On the left side you'll see a button that says table of contents. You can click that and it will show automatic table of contents with some different styles. I'm just going to use the classic style. Click it once and basically what Microsoft Word just did is it inserted a table of contents. Isn't that great? So you can see for the for the heading one styles it put it at the top level, so that's like a chapter level, introduction, and then I have all these subheadings marked off. Later on I can remove where I've spelled out subhead. I can change the type, like here I just have a placeholder, I can change that. And it, going down you can see that it assigned uh, page numbers to all of them, so this is really great. And if you make changes later on, you're going to need to adjust them or update it. So for instance, when I give this a real name, XYZ, I'll replace that with something. I need to go back to the table of contents, click on it once, a little menu will appear here. Click on that and it says update table. And then I just click that and it would update it. Update page numbers versus updating the entire table. Now, by the way, this is the Mac version of Microsoft Word. The Windows version works exactly the same way. It's the same ribbon, the same button, same options. So that's pretty straightforward. For more information on how to create a table of contents and how to do lots of other neat stuff in Microsoft Word, check out our book, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thank you.